only kind of shit that gets you some respect. Got a lot of blood and it's cold. They keep trying to get me for my soul. Thankful for the women that I know. Can't go 50 50 with no hope. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a hair review. Um, this review is going to be based on the Kinky Diana wig um, from Hair VV. No, this video is not sponsored. I pay for this with my own money. My own $204. At the time, I had a coupon code and I got it on sale. Guys, I'm going to just go ahead and jump straight into it. It's the best wig I've ever had. And I honestly think that it's like that because of the way that they make it so, like, ready to go fresh out of the box like it comes with a already tinted lace it comes with already customized frontal it comes with already bleached knots it comes with already sewn in elastic band you guys know how important the elastic band is and another thing i love about this wig um that i've never had in any other wig before are the combs um there's a comb here on this side there's a comb here on this side there's actually a comb on the top in the middle and then there's a comb um in the far back like right at the back here at the neck so you can really um place it um or secure your wig into place um i really like that about the wig um i love it actually because it's made for people who aren't gonna take the time to you know be bleaching the knives and customizing the front i ain't got all that kind of time like I, i'm not i'm just not gonna do it first of all i don't know how to do it and i'm not going that's just not for me okay um it is a 16 inch indian virgin lace front wig. It is kinky and it's made to mimic the texture of natural African American women or African women um, more so like in a blown out style and that's exactly why I bought it because I have natural hair. I wanted it to look like all I did was went home and blew out my hair um, and like I flat ironed it or brushed it out or whatever and that's actually the response that I've been getting from everybody. They're like oh my gosh that's your hair? <laughs> my hair so I'm gonna tell you yes I just went ahead and got it blown out last week okay they don't need to know all them details like no they don't so um, the only thing that I would say I don't like is that um the ends or not the ends the sides of the wig they don't come down as far as I would like them to um they do not come as far down as this front part of the lace and I don't know if that's just because my head big, which it probably is, or, <laughs> or if it's just like the way that it's made. So how I have it, um, I have the clips, um, I have the clip in place, but because it didn't come down as far as I would like it to, I just bobby pinned it right here. So it's like it comes down great here, and then I had to bobby pin it right. So I didn't really do too much with this wig. I didn't lay down no baby hairs, nothing like that, because I really wanted you to see it. Um, I just washed this hair like a couple of days ago, and I've only worn it once since I washed it. So I really wanted you to see it without having to do anything really to it so you would know how much is required on your part to make, make it look good, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And this is what it looks like. So, I did, I did not put any makeup on this part. I didn't lay down any baby hairs. Normally what I would do is I would use this Oars Olive Edge Control. And I, I would use it to sweep some hairs into place around the frontal just to make it look way more natural. However, like I said, I just didn't do that today. Um, I know a lot of people like to use the, um, the black and yellow tube, the... What is that don't call? The, oh, the got to be glued. I use the edge control and just like brush it out with a brush just to make it look as natural as possible, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around so I can show you the back. Now, this wig is online and it retails for $284. The density of the wig is 150% and the parting space is a 5.5 inch part line. So guys, I must warn you, the shipping time for this hair company takes forever. 
fur. Prior to me buying this wig, I did watch other reviews on YouTube and they all said, oh my gosh, this shipping takes so, so long. So because I was made aware of that, I had already planned to be okay with waiting a lot of time. Like I already knew it was gonna take a month to get me get to me, which I know sounds absolutely ridiculous, but once I got it, it was worth the wait. However, just know that going into it. If you're buying it for a special occasion, if you're buying it for a wedding that's two weeks away, it ain't gonna be there, okay? It's just not. And even if you pay the shipping for like say next day air or if you do two day shipping, it's still not gonna help and I'm gonna tell you why. Because the processing time is what takes forever. Um, they have to get your order in addition to receiving everybody else's order. Then they actually have to customize your frontal, you know, do all of the work that you're not gonna have to do. So it obviously delays the processing time and there's no need to pay for like next day air or anything like that because they use DHL um, Express which is super super quick especially from where it's coming from you can flat iron this hair you can color this hair um, you can curl this hair and the curls last about mmm a day and a half I would say and then they're gonna drop completely um, but that is to be expected when you have um, a straight Indian virgin hair. I really love the quality of this wig. Like I said, um, it's very versatile. And because it mimics the hair of natural black women, it just makes it look so much more believable. It makes it look so much more realistic. And I, and I love it when people come up to me and they're like, oh my gosh, your hair is beautiful. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> and please stay tuned for my upcoming videos um and once again i'm kayla the clarification bye guys